I finally got OBS on a leash. It was literally like breaking apart and there was uh, too much echo. Uh, yeah, today we're gonna be putting VMNG its absolute limit if we haven't done that already. Yes, it's possible to make VMNG uh, even more crazy. VMNG was being a little crazy. I know I didn't get that fixed, that's not really going well. But um, yeah, this is this is literally a perfect uh, example of how BMG was acting. So yeah, that's my impression of BMG. I really hope you like it. Okay, so let me tell you what we're gonna be doing. I don't know why it takes me so long to get to the actual point of the video, but today we're going to be trying to play BMG with an Xbox controller. And yes, for those people who are wondering, it is the Forza Horizon 5 Limited Edition. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna be trying to play BMG with this. So let's go. Okay, so we are in the game and uh, we have a controller here. Let me just hit the D-pad. Let's go! Woo! Let's go, boys! Okay, now, um, can I select? I can select, all right. Uh, let's go to Garfield Heights. I mean, come on, it's Garfield Heights. Let's go. Okay, so here we are with the default truck. And uh, where's my game audio? Oh, it's here, okay. Okay, so uh, yeah, and also you're gonna notice this little scramble button over here. That's just the mod I downloaded. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, can we move around with this? Yes, we can. Okay. Okay, so it drives just like Forza. Okay. Um, oh, nice. There's uh, untextured stuff. More untextured stuff. Um, hello, Garfield Heights. Is Garfield Heights okay? Garfield Heights be acting mecha crazy. What? I did not see that. What did I do? Did I hit a button? What did I do? Hello? What happened? Okay, well, we're back here again. <laughs> Oh, my mic is in the way. Oh, 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 da, 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 da. Zoom skirt. Okay. So this is really nice to drive with. You're doing like experimental things and like gravity changing and stuff that requires a mouse a lot. I'd recommend just stick with that. But if you're just like driving around for fun, this is really good. Uh, it's really good driving physics, like, I can hit A for the e-brake. Like, if you play Forza, you have BeamNG that runs reasonably good because you need, like, a crazy processor to run this game. And you have a uh, controller. It works with literally any Xbox controller, just as long as your PC has uh, Xbox wireless built in or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's totally playable. This is, like, really good. It's, there's, I don't feel, like, any delay. Like, I hit the throttle, it goes, like, expected, right? So, it's really good. Like, I play Forza a lot, and this is, like, basically my dream come true. Forza driving and BeamNG damage models make the best game. <laughs> so, uh, let me just try some other cars. And, um, I just accidentally hit X, and it triggered my NOS, so... Uh, I figured out how to do this one time because I knew how to use the NOS one time on my keyboard and I did this and it was really funny, but I'm gonna do it again. Um, didn't do it. Very resilient build of a truck, okay. 
I have to get the Ibushu Covet for it. So let me get out of this untextured map and then uh, I'll show you that. We have my favorite car, as everybody knows. And uh, we're just gonna hit X and uh, see what happens. I just blew the engine out. <laughs> Cause I just oh, held X and it just was like, nah, chief, you can't do that. Or you can do fat burnouts and break it. Zoom. We're already out of not what? Where did all our NOS go? <laughs> Dude, my fans are at 6,000 RPM right now. Holy cow. Alrighty then. Okay. Yup. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. All right, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna show you a sneak peek of this scramble mod. So yeah, it literally scrambles the parts on a car. And sometimes they don't even drive, but fortunately this one drives and it's actually reasonably good. <laughs> Most of the time when you get these, they're basically either really slow or just physically undrivable, but they will literally always turn to the right just the slightest bit or like a lot, depending on what car you get. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this will be another video. Um, so if you're just wanting the quick answer, yes, this works on me Menji really easily it's like I'd highly recommend using it um so yeah um let's see what else we can get dude I love the remake of the Savannah Bowl light like it's freaking incredible dude I'm just gonna put Jado on it and uh see what happens all right so we got Jado and um the way this works with controller the throttle also hits the Jado too, so um, yeah, there's that. Well, that's not. Nice. Never mind. Okay, okay, we get it. No, go home. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna crank the boost down a little bit because I want this to be a little bit drivable. <laughs> I cranked it down to like nine thousand or something. Shouldn't be too much. So let's drive it on these big wall thingies here. Oh no! Oh, okay. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Righty then. Also, the entire back part of this car is a completely separate piece. You can literally rip it off and then drive it. I don't know why, but you can. Okay. Zoom. Zoom. Yo, this is so fun. Oh, lag, lag. What what the lag doing? What the lag doing? That's literally every game in a nutshell. It lags and then goes to hyperspeed to try and recalibrate it. <laughs> Why, bro? Come on. Okay, well, whatever. <sighs> Let's see if this thing can skip over top of water, because I've seen cars do that before. Okay. Full throttle, no full beans, NOS, Jado, the whole bunch. Oh, oh. I mean, it was going. But like now, who needs an engine when you just have straight up Jado? Yeah, the engine's dead. It got hydrolocked, so I'm driving this thing off of nothing but Jado, and it can't turn. Oh. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Now we can drive around still, go on these big crazy things. Zoom. Oh! Fly! Cushion your foot! So yeah, you can see that the back is a completely different piece just welded together with frames or whatever. Okay, well, anyway, we're in the cannon and uh, I can hit the bumpers to lift it up and down and it's actually pretty quick. So we're just gonna put it up to like the middle or something. Okay, three, two, one. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Their damage models are so good. Oh my gosh. Bro, Beeman G is like becoming a like a proper game. Like if you have the Steam credits and the, the, the processor to download this game, go for it. Just go for it. It's totally worth your money and also your, your computer. So, uh, yeah, let's get uh, the next car, which is the Savetta Bolide. So, yeah, let's go. Savetta Bolide Strata. Oh, my gosh, bro. This looks like a Lancia. Hold on. I have a, a Hot Wheels car of a Lancia that I'm going to get. So like this car here, is a Lancia. You notice the difference. So there's the back, and then you move it over to the front. There you go! Look at that! They're like the same car! That's enough of that. Let's just get it in the can and launch it out. Okay, three, two, one. I'll go! Whoa, bro! What? The damage my Look at that plate! Oh, yeah. As you can see, two separate pieces. So, yeah. It's really interesting how it's just like this front part is a completely different piece than the back. But, like, did you see that middle plate? Like, it was bent and it looked really futuristic. I don't know why, but it's just, it's so cool. Hold on. What if we go into fun stuff? Let's just break the hinges. Now, is it two separate? No, it's not. Hold on. I'm going to try and get this back piece off. Okay, so I got all the body panels off the back. And already, this thing just looks so cool with them off. But uh, I'm just going to try and get this entire back piece off. Yeah, there you go. And since the engine is in that piece, I can drive it. I mean, the gas pedal is in here, so theoretically you wouldn't be able to drive it. But since this is just like hitting the throttle without actually hitting the throttle because it's a simulation game or whatever, I can literally just move it. And it's crazy. So, yeah. Okay, so I want to try and make this thing look really cool. We're just going to delete this because we don't really need it here. Okay, so in the vehicle config, you can just like remove parts by just not being able to see them. Just by clicking that. Uh, driver seat, shifter, um, coupe body. I can... <laughs> what? I can just remove the body? Bro, that is sick. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. What? Okay, that's crazy. Okay, let's see if we can remove just the back. Uh, rear subframe? Oh. That's not what I meant to do. Um. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, oh my gosh, that's so cool. What? Oh, that's so cool looking. Let me just... Oh. Okay. That is so cool. Can I rip this off? Okay. I kind of damaged it a little bit. Just, just ignore that. Bruh. I, that was the perfect fix I've ever done. Bro, this thing looks so cool now. They need to make like a truck version of this car. Oh my gosh. This thing is so cool! What do you mean? <laughs> it's literally just this now. <laughs> Why? Why would you do this? I mean, that looks kind of cool, I guess, right? Or we could have it without it. I'll just leave it without it. Then we need the suspension on it. Okay. Now, um, the middle, or whatever this is, or the chassis, let's put the seats back 
so that the inside looks kind of normal. <laughs> then put the steering wheel in. There, what if we just put the body on? Bruh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here we go. We just did this without tearing off any parts. We just did this in the uh, thingy, mabobber thingy, vehicle config. And um, this is sick. I want to do one scramble part thing with this because now with the new update, there's so much like possibilities with this. Let's see. What can we get? Really? All those cool looking things and we get this? Bruh, that alignment! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does it drive? It drives and I'm not steering, it's just doing that by itself. One thing I would really like to see in the game, uh, I, I still wish the old Savannah ball lines were here. Like, I really love these and I think they look better than the old ones, but you can't just like get rid of the old ones, you know, like, come on, just, it'd be so nice if you could put the new ones back in, or the old ones back in too, and leave these ones on too. I think that'd just be so cool. Okay. We're gonna just do it until we get like a weird framey one. Okay, this is a weird framey one. <laughs> okay, okay. Nos, let's go. It's actually reasonably drivable. With the exhaust just hanging out of the back, that's sick. Zoom. Yo, it's sick. Can it jump over this thingy though? Zoom, nothing. Bro, well, okay, since it's just frame, is it instructable? No. Yeah, this thing is just, it's crazy, bro. I just, it's awesome. I just, I love the new damage models, bro. They are literally sick. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I've been recording for like 20 minutes, so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to end it here, and I'm pretty sure there aren't any shoutouts. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.